In this video, we are going to talk about the young billionaires according to Forbes magazine. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future. Being young and wealthy is not as simple as it once was. Many youthful billionaires saw their fortunes plummet in 2022 after increasing thanks to a pandemic-fueled rise in market momentum last year as industries from technology to used car sales were shaken by rising inflation and recessionary fears. On the Forbes 400 list of the wealthiest Americans this year, there are 10 billionaires under the age of 40, down from 15 the year before. One billionaire just outlived the younger group due to their age, Lindsay Snyder, the estimated $4.2 billion in and out burger heiress, turned 40 in May. The market's dramatic fluctuations caused the other individuals to all drop below the $2.7 billion cutoff point or leave the billionaire rankings altogether. Crypto billionaires lost tens of billions of dollars in wealth due to the falling value of cryptocurrencies, including Fred Ersom, the 34-year-old creator of cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, whose net worth decreased from an estimated $3.5 billion to $1 billion last year. After Robinhood stock fell 60% below its 2021 IPO price in January, Baiju Bot, the 37-year-old co-founder of the investing app, lost his billionaire status. Bot appeared on the Forbes 400 last year with an estimated net worth of $2.9 billion. RJ Scaringe, the founder and CEO of Rivian Automotive, whose estimated net worth was $3.4 billion last year, also left the Three Comma Club in March when the electric vehicle manufacturer sharply increased its prices, which prompted a decline in its shares. Since its November IPO, shares have decreased by about 60%. Two other people who were under 40 last year, Pinterest co-founder and CEO Ben Silberman and Ernest Garcia III, fell off the Forbes 400 this year, but they would have aged out of this group anyhow, as they both turned 40 over the past year. Here is a list of young billionaires according to Forbes magazine. So let's start. Number 12. Ben Silberman. After the stock of the photo sharing website more than doubled since the Forbes 400 list was published in 2017, Silberman, the co-founder and CEO of Pinterest, is another newbie. The company's revenue increased by over 50% to $1.7 billion in 2020 as a result of people flocking to the site to exchange recipes or home decor ideas during the epidemic after he introduced the first desktop version of Pinterest in 2010. Number 11. Ernest Garcia III. Garcia established Carvana in 2012 as a division of his father's used car dealership drive time. Carvana sells used cars online and lets clients pick them up from enormous vending machines. The majority shareholder in his son's business, Ernest Garcia II, has sold shares worth billions of dollars as the value of the company's stock has increased over the past 18 months. For breaking dealer licensing laws, the North Carolina DMV barred Carvana from selling vehicles from its Raleigh facility until January 2022 in August. Number 10. Scott Duncan. When his father, the late Texas oil mobile Dan Duncan, passed away in 2010, Duncan became a millionaire at the age of 27. He and his three older brothers each received a share of the Houston-based pipeline conglomerate Enterprise Products Partners, which their father founded in 1968. Only Randa Williams, Duncan's sister, is a working member of the company. Number 9. Sam Bankman Fried. He declared in September that FTX's headquarters would be moving from Hong Kong to the Bahamas, where there is more regulatory clarity regarding cryptocurrency trading. Even cryptocurrency beginners are starting to recognize the name of the exchange. This season's Major League Baseball games have featured FTX patches on the official's attire, and in May, his business shelled out $135 million to secure the naming rights to the Miami Heat's basketball arena. Number 8. Bobby Murphy as shares of the social media app rocketed to record highs since last year's list, the co-founders of Snapchat saw their wealth more than treble. In an effort to take on TikTok, Snapchat launched its Spotlight feature last November. It cultivates other users' videos in a new feed and implements a marketplace to compensate well-known content creators. 
This year's second quarter saw a record $982 million in sales for Snap. Snap's CEO is Spiegel, a billionaire at age 25, and its chief technology officer is Murphy. Number 7. Fred Ersom. Ersom co-founded Coinbase Global in 2012 and left the business in 2017, although he kept 6% of its stock, which is what made up the majority of his wealth. He co-founded Paradigm in 2018, a company that invests in a variety of cryptocurrency businesses, including Coinbase and FTX. Before we move on to the top six of this list, make sure you don't miss any updates and subscribe to this channel with subscribe button and bell icon. Number six, RJ Scaringe. Scaringe makes his debut on the list when his firm, Rivian, was valued at $27.6 billion in January 2021. In July 2021, Amazon, Ford, and T. Rowe Price joined a funding round that added another $2.5 billion, bringing the company's total funding to date to $10.5 billion. According to the business, our 1T electric pickup truck production started in September, and our 1S SUV production will follow soon after. Number 5. Lucas Walton. Walton is the son of John Walton, who perished in a plane disaster in 2005, and a grandson of Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. He is the chair of the Environment Program Committee for the Walton Family Foundation and received one-third of his father's fortune. He gave $360,000 to the joint fundraising committees of Joe Biden's 2020 presidential campaign. Number 4. Mark Zuckerberg. As the well-known social media firm topped $100 billion in revenue in the 12 months ended June 30th, Facebook's shares increased by more than 50%. This increased Zuckerberg's wealth by about $50 billion and made him one of the eight billionaires on this year's Forbes 400. The Federal Trade Commission filed an amended complaint in August after a court dismissed its June antitrust lawsuit challenging Facebook's purchases of Instagram and WhatsApp. The Biden administration has criticized Facebook harshly for facilitating the propagation of false material about vaccinations on their site. Number 3. Baiju Bot. Until November 2020, Bot served as co-CEO of the commission free trading app Robinhood Markets. He has an 8% ownership share in the business, which went public in July with a $32 billion value. Vlad Tenev and Bot co-founded Robinhood in 2013. Tenev is still the CEO and narrowly missed being included in the Forbes 400. Selling consumer orders to significant trading companies like Citadel Securities is Robinhood's main source of income. In the past year, the business has settled claims of deceiving customers and keeping them locked out of their accounts during outages by paying $135 million in fines to FINRA and the SEC. Number 2. Brian Armstrong. Armstrong is the CEO of Coinbase Global, and in April he brought the cryptocurrency exchange public through a direct listing, increasing the value of his 19% ownership to 11 figures. In a Twitter thread in September, he lambasted the Securities and Exchange Commission, revealing that the agency had threatened to sue Coinbase if it introduced a crypto lending feature. He also claimed that the SEC was the only regulatory body that had declined to meet with him when he visited Washington in May. Later, Coinbase abandoned its intention to introduce the lending service. Number 1. Nathan Blechukzik the largest IPO of 2020, Airbnb, went public last December and saw its valuation soar beyond $100 billion on the first day of trading. When compared to the start of the epidemic, its $1.34 billion in second quarter revenue was approximately 300% more year over year. The vacation rental business was formed in 2008 by Blechukzik, Chesky, and Jebia, who are all now 40 years old. Airbnb said in August that it would give 20,000 Afghan refugees free temporary lodging. Here we are at the end of our list. Did you like this video? I am sure you will like our next one as well. Don't miss out and subscribe for future updates. With subscribe button and bell icon.